but doubled as a driver with a strap on him for cheap. So, I mean, I do that sometimes. But, I mean, for the most part, like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I I've, I could give a fuck. Like, You're not I scared died, to die? I died a long time ago, bro. This what do you is, mean by that? Like, everything in me died a long time ago. This is all plus. This is all wonderful, but... I don't like I'm indifferent. I don't even enjoy life. Like I don't enjoy anything. Private jet, who gives a fuck? The Rolls Royce out back I bought for six hundred thousand cash, five hundred on the wrist. Like I don't give a fuck about that, bro. Nothing nothing does anything for me. Right. Not even hot ass model chick, this, that, the other, thought of kids, all that. I don't i I'm fucking detached, bro. But so do you even feel like you're still All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrachakwadash, with Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And the Rakhakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. And you just heard that uh, quick clip from this influencer named Wes Watson. And if you don't know who this uh, man is, he basically served about a decade in jail or in prison out there in Cali. And once he got out, you know, he went on YouTube, uh, talked about, you know, what happened in jail. Um... You know, became a, uh, you know, motivational speaker, you know, uh, started, you know, you know, these uh, uh, fitness programs, you know, so on and so forth. And, um, you know, him and uh, Adam 22, which is the uh, host of the No Jumper podcast, you know, were talking and pretty much, as you heard, you know, he made a statement about, you know, the things that he has and pretty much how... He said that, you know, these things mean nothing. You know, he's dead. All right. And what did he say? I died a long time ago. You know, he said, you know, these are just little perks, but he's like, I'm, what did he say? I'm detached. And you see, this is the mindset that we, as the men of the Lord, have to have as well. All right. You have to be detached from the things of this world. All right. From this life. Okay. You know, you may have a little something in this world. Okay. You know, you may have some children, you know, you may have a wife, all right, maybe a small business, all right, whatever it is, right? You know, you, you know, as a following believer of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you, you, you can't, you know, have an affinity for these things, you know? All right? Hey, look, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai comes first. And you have to remember in your mind that. The Lord can take all things, you know, from you, okay? And look, I'll say this. The majority of the things that we have aren't going to, you know, aren't going to be taken out of this world. And I say majority because the only thing that might, and that's a, you know, that's a, you know, huge statement right there, that might, you know, uh, uh, you know be taken out of this world, all right, with you is, possibly your family okay that's it and the only reason why that that may occur is because as the scriptures say that you know basically through your faith okay you and your household can get saved but other than that though look your name in this world your house your business all right things under that nature it's going to perish it's going to be you know it's going to be destroyed Okay, because remember, this world is going out with the Big Bang. All right. Remember, the, hey, this world is going to be, you know, uh, uh, is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear, you know, missiles. That's the end, you know, of this American society. All right. But let me get a, uh, let me get these two scriptures that I have on deck, and then Lord willing, if I have more, I'll bring them out. But this is a Second Timothy chapter two verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Okay, so basically, you have to be detached 
All right, as that, you know, guy, you know, Wes Watson said, you have to, you know, you, you can't have any emotional attachments to this world. All right? You see? Because look, if you if you have some type of attachment to this world, that can make you fall. Okay? That could be your downfall. You see? Then you might have a situation like Lot's wife. You know, she she turned back because she loved Sodom and Gomorrah for whatever reason. There was something about it that she loved. Okay? It doesn't get into it in detail, but that's why she turned back. And then what happened to her? She turned into a pillar of salt. So just remember, you, you can't, you know, you can't turn back. You, you, you can't love this world more than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, even if you lose things. And it could be things that you hold dear unto you, whatever it may be. All right? Let me keep reading. That he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. And you see, this is why you can't get entangled with the affairs of this life. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai chose you. All right? With that being said, you got to follow orders. You have to give your life to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai now. Okay? Which really, he gave you life. All right? And what I mean by that is, by you coming into this truth, now you're truly alive. All right? You see? Because you got to remember, before you come into this truth, you were the walking dead. You were the walking dead. All right? And now, you know, you are, you know, a living, breathing creature because the Lord gave you this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? So really, you, you, you got to give it all to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? You know, you're in debt to them. You see? And let me get this, uh, let me hop to this scripture here in uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And you see, you can't love this world. All right, and, you know, just a little side note. Basically, what that means is you can't put the things of this life before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because I'll say this, there's nothing wrong with loving your family, okay? Your parents, all right, you know, your children, your wife, etc. There's nothing wrong with loving them. But... Once they become, you know, the first thing in your life, instead of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's where the issue comes into play. You see? You can't love them more than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai comes first. You see? Now let me keep reading. 1 John 2 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the, of the Father abideth forever. And you see, this world is passing away. Alright? It doesn't have much time. Alright? So don't get attached to it. Look, we're, we're going to have a new world that's coming. A world where all good things dwell, all right? Where we're, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hey, where nothing's tainted and where righteousness is, uh, um, where righteousness flourish, where, where it will flourish, all right? So, you know, that's what you should be, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, that that's where your you know your eyes should be focused on, all right. The kingdom to come, not this place. And this place is passing away. The, the, it's done, all right. The mirth is gone. They, you know, there's troubles everywhere, diseases everywhere, 
As the scriptures say what? This world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. Okay? This is a, a present evil world, as the scriptures say as well. So why, you know, why be in love with it and why, you know, attach yourself unto this place? You know, look for something better. All right? And that's what we're doing. But, uh, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. It was just a quick one. Like I said, I uh, saw that clip and, you know, it inspired me to do this video. And you know, hopefully whoever was watching was edified. And, you know, I'm going to just end it. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about you, Mal Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.